70 years after a Michigan soldier disappeared during combat in the Korean War, his remains are back home. Tonight, the flag draped casket carrying Sergeant David Farrand of Kingsley arrived at Gerald R. Ford International Airport. 13 on your side reporter Phil Dawson was there is there right now to describe the reception. Phil. Well, Juliet, it was pouring rain out on the tarmac when the jet carrying Sergeant Perrin touched down here at Gerald R. Ford International Airport. But one of his two remaining sisters, Irene, who now lives in Ferrysburg, other relatives, reporters, and a military honor guard waited patiently in the downpour for the pallbearers to remove the casket from the jet and slowly, ceremoniously carry it to the waiting hearse. Sergeant Farrand went missing during the Korean War battle in 1950. He was declared killed in action in 1953, and after a recent meeting with President Trump, North Korea's leaders sent his remains home to his family in Michigan. Very emotional. Is it a uh, welcome home? Of course. In too long. His sister Irene, the other relatives, a military honor guard, the Michigan State Police, and a motorcycle group all escorted the coffin up to Traverse City where a funeral is planned on Sunday. Juliet?